You clicked on here to see what products changed everything for my low porosity curls, didn't you? Well, while this rosemary shampoo and hair mask do a great job in cleaning and moisturizing my scalp and hair, this product, as great as it is, is not the one I'm talking about. Here it is, the Curl Activator World of Curls, yes. And I'll be using this beauty, pronounced Wakati in Swahili, meaning time, as my leave-in conditioner. Yes, I done my research, guys. So, here we go. I'm showing you what my hair looks like before wash day. It's looking a little bit more red than usual, and that's due to, well, I say red, but ready brown. And that's due to the Eco Styler I my hair and mixed with other products i.e other gels and leave-ins so now my hair is freshly washed and i am drying it with my microfiber towel Ooh, yeah as i said i have low porosity hair so even though my hair feels damp it looks very dry but you can see by the shine, I'm assuming you'd see that it's got some type of moisture in it. The rosemary shampoo and hair mask done a great job. My hair is soft, it's detangled, and it looks dry, but no. So we're going to go in with the Wakati leave-in conditioner. There you go. And I'm just going to spray that all over just to make sure my hair is fully saturated. So I want my hair hydrated, and then I'm going to moisturize it. What I'll moisturize it with will be coming up next. So now I'm going to clip and section my hair ready for the styling. Now I'm going to take my comb, just go through my hair just to make sure it's fully detangled. So if you can see from that shine guys, that's the moisture in my hair. Low porosity hair tends to lack luster, i.e. shine. So now I'm going to take my curl stretch paste from Cantu. Yeah, they sold me on this one, the curl stretch paste. I deep down inside knew it wasn't going to stretch my curls. You know, we have shrinkage, especially type 4 here. There you go. I mean, where's the stretch? But I'm not complaining. It is good. It's a good base and it holds in the moisture. I, I love shrinkage, especially for this hairstyle. But this product on its own is not the best to use on its own. Just personally for me, because once it dries, it kind of looks just dry. The magic product is going to be the World of Curls Curl Activator. The World of Curls Activator actually contains glycerin. It's the second ingredient on the product and my hair loves glycerin. Not only does it allow moisture retention, it's a humectant. It absorbs moisture from the air as well as keeping my hair shiny, defined. But warning guys, I've said this in multiple videos. A little goes a long way. Now, if you want to have the flat, greasy feel and look on your hair, that's fine. Go for it. I mean, this product I'm putting on my hair already, the paste is quite greasy. So you don't want to add more on top of it. You don't want your curls to be super flat. And I can be heavy handed. So yes, yeah, so I was trying to clump my curls because I prefer the clump curled look. And then when, once it's dry, I go in and separate them. I find that if I do any smaller sections, my hair really shrinks up and it just doesn't look like it's very defined. So when I clump the curls and then separate them, it's got a good definition to it. There you go. That, that's what I'm dealing with right now. So curl stretch paste where my curls have shrunk. Yes, they're beautiful, but it's not delivering on what it's saying it can do. So even though I haven't quite finished defining my curls with the curl paste yet, you might be wondering where the world of curls curl activator comes into all this. You're going to have to watch to the end to find out. So as you can see, um, the longer parts of my hair, I tend to define it. Not so much now, but when it is longer, I tend to define it more so with the brush. I do the finger coils at the back where it's shorter, but the front parts of my hair, they curl up quite nicely just with the brush. I find that if I do with the brush at the back, I get less definition for some reason. But as this product dries, my hair will start to shrink up more, which you're about to see now. And that is the shrinkage, guys. I love the shape of it. I'm not really a fan of the long finger coils. I like it to look more like curls. So that's why I separate them. However, I haven't gone in and separated them yet because I'm going to be sleeping on this here. So yes, it's defined, but it's not necessarily how I like it. But this is where the world of curls comes in. So if you just remember, I said I was going to sleep on them and you can see like a white residue from the curl paste. This is why I didn't want to do too much the night before because I knew that I was going to, you know, have to sleep on them and sort it out in the morning. But yes, the curl activator gets my hair 
right every time. Now, as I said, take this as a warning. You use a small amount. Two fingertip amounts is fine. So you're going to rub it into your hand and then you're going to rub it all over your hair. This way, your hair will last longer because not only are you getting shine, you still got the hold from the curl paste, but you're also getting moisture from the atmosphere. The way I do my hair in this manner with the curl activator is I'm trying to just ruffle the, the curls a little, the finger coils, as you can see. And I'm just spritzing it a little bit more because some parts were still a bit, a bit tacky, as, I, as it were, from the paste. And I didn't want to go in with more curl activator because paste and then curl activator, can you imagine? Anywho, I'm going in with my the red one. Ironically, it's white, but the red one wax just to go over my edges. And this does dry clear, guys. Uh, if you do, again, use too much and are heavy handed because I've tried and tested. If you are heavy handed, you will have white residue. So just well, you can use any edge wax of your choice, but just be gentle, guys. Don't overdo it. So, yep, I'm just sorting out my edges. And I don't like the, you know, big edge look. I, I like the more natural looking type edge kind of thing, you know, there you go. <laughs> so overall, I've got a nice little throw going on. I'm just uh, zhuzhing it up. But before you can get this nice little cute pixie big chop going on, you might want to see the pros and cons first of doing a big chop. So watch this video now.